What's going on, guys? I'm here, Salt Lake City. Just visiting, doing a little work for the day job while I'm here, and had a couple hours to burn. And I found myself at the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum. Really one of like the coolest collections I've ever seen, and not because I'm just a Land Cruiser nerd. I've only been a Land Cruiser nerd for like a year now, um, but been to several car museums, been to SEMA, things like that, and this is just like just such a wide array of vehicles. I mean, they're all Toyotas, so there's that. Got these weird looking mega cruisers. It's basically just like a Hummer. Right hand drive. Just wanted to share 100 series. Really like the paint on this one. We have to copy that a little bit. Like the fender bars. It's a 105. Let's see, 200 series. I'm not the only one here today. Actually, I am, other than the nice lady that works here. Got here at 8 in the morning. Actually, 7.45. Because I've been up for four hours because I'm on East Coast time. So, had a, had a little time to kill. Just wanted to take you guys along with me. I know that my buddy Winch Outdoors will be slightly jealous. I already talked to him. Told him I'd buy him a t-shirt. A sticker or something. He's gonna send me some things. And I say I'm a Land Cruiser nerd. I'm really not because I don't know like all the different model numbers and years and things like that. I I know that with Jeeps for sure. That's where I started my life in off-roading. It's a BJ42, 83 model. I like that one. Not a big fan of yellow, but it works on there. Some of these graphics are just amazing. There's an 82. Slater Rock Shop just bought a 60 series, so maybe he's talking about painting it, and if he does, that might be the way to go. I do like that graphic as well. Maybe the two-tone isn't my favorite, but the graphic's pretty cool. Got one for sale. Um, no price on it. If you'd like to buy it, I'm sure if you call them, they'll give you a price and they'll ship it to you. On Rockwell axles. It's like 43-inch TSLs. Cool paint job. Really cool paint job basically a tube chassis well back half anyway I know you <laughs> it's got an easy button that it is easy and this old girl's got a 5.3 in it I know the Toyota purists really probably don't care about this but I know Weld 1 Slater Rock Shop will like it Another 60. These I wasn't quite aware of, an LD20. Looks like a Suzuki Samurai type. Got the Blizzard. It's a 1982 Japanese Blizzard. 2.2 liter diesel. Four speed Manuel. 83 and up came with a five speed. Oh, sorry for the glare. 
This is the one I had the graphics of. It's got the barn doors in the back. That's cool. I don't know how that thing got in here. Got some really cool signs and things in here too, which I can get down on and appreciate. <clears throat> Show you some of my favorites here. I do like that BJ42 I showed earlier. <clears throat> this one's also really clicking my trigger. Just a nice color, nice stance got a warrant on it some kind of like infrared camera this is a 65 FJ 45 says the build utilized components from at least 27 other Land Cruisers Looks like they robbed a DNR truck too. Digging the crew cab. It's really cool. This one, somebody swapped a Chrysler motor into it. <clears throat> we all know how that goes. Was actually in a forest fire in California 2018 Northern California Butte County Butt County not sure how you say that but it's a sheriff rig and um, <clears throat> they donated it oh GM motor This is the one that Slater Rock Shop donated. He had a GMC Jimmy 73 model look just like this. It's a 1960 FJ 28 LVA. From South America. This one's from Venezuela. And is believed to be one of only three left. Wow. And it runs. T badge on the hood is unique. This is a FJ forty five LV. It's a Canadian model, you can tell because there's a small air vent above the windshield. See that air vent? And it's got smoker windows. Get the air flowing and out. That's nice. This one's pretty cool too. Wood bedsides on the inside. Oh, big snorkel. See, it's a HJ 47. If you don't know what an HJ is, you probably can't afford it.
It's a 62 FQ15. Australian model. This is a 2012. Interesting body on the chassis there. This was built specifically to work in a Canadian mine. Transfer case is permanently, permanently locked in the low range. My buddy's got a Jeep Bronco that probably gonna be the same way eventually. It's a 2015, that's a Japanese model, a GRJ 79. This is a 79 series on an FZG, FZJ80 chassis. 93, 80 series chassis with a 79 body. Really cool, but not a huge fan of that graphic. Go to Piedmont, a lot of tattoos look like that. But cool, cool rig. Can't get back there, I don't want to cross the line, but see that bed there. A lot of 70 models here, a lot of 70 series here. so cool that this body style hasn't changed in so many years. Again, I can't tell you exactly the years, but you can't tell the difference between like an 89 and a 2015 unless you read the tag. At least for a Land Cruiser layman like myself. This is a cool one. 1998 HZJ75. This one was intended for mining use as well. There's an 88. There's the, the back of that, this other one. Really cool rig. It's a 1989 86 88 There's one for winch outdoors really like this graphic down the side. I don't know if you can see it all the way. But Good looking rig. All 80 series right here. Just three of them. Just pause and read that if you'd like. Got a set of Hifley Vigorous MTs on it. Man, such a clean 80 series. That's the 40th anniversary edition. Engine section here. There's a 47 to use the FE. That's a really, this is a really cool rig. Probably a lot of great history around this one. I believe this was a Moab Tour rig. 1978. Yep, it's used in Moab from 1978 to the mid 90s. You could go out and take a tour with Tag Along and ride around Moab in this. Tagalong was the first company to run the 
scenic stretch on the uh, Colorado River upstream from Moab. Nineteen seventy eight, and then here's a little tow rig, tow truck. It's a nineteen sixty five, or excuse me, a nineteen seventy nine. It's a FJ fifty six. Dyslexia going on there. This one in particular was used by the. Japan Automobile Federation. Basically just a kind of like a state run or federally run tow truck company. It's my first time to Salt Lake City. I've got a backlight here the few things, but you see the mountains back there, just beautiful. <clears throat> well, this video's probably long enough so I'll share some pictures but just what a cool place if you're ever in Salt Lake City you should come by probably gonna walk around and just check it out for another 30 minutes or so and dream a little bit but uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you next time